Hey there, welcome to Six Pack Exercises. My name is Ryan Daniels, and the first thing that I want to tell you is that I really made this video because I'm a lot like you. And if you're anything like me, you haven't had a six pack your whole life, even though you've wanted to. I remember I used to sit and watch infomercials longing for the success that people have had. And by success, I mean being able to go out in public with your shirt off and being proud of what you look like or just having a killer set of abs. I, I remember in the infomercials there used to be there'd be a hot girl touching the buff guy's beefy abs that she just ran and traced down and it was like man must be nice and when you're watching infomercials like that it, you almost feel like man you do anything to have that and I love these. I, I've got these pictures in here for, for a little comedic relief. But some people will do anything for a six-pack. I love the grocery bag with the guy's abs. They're my favorite right here. Man, that is classic. That's awesome. But what I want to tell you is that if you want to have a six-pack, you can't be like me. And what I mean is that when I started to finally work out and finally apply things that I knew to be true... One mistake that I made was I focused too much on crunches. Crunches are a great exercise. You should do crunches. And I had my handy-dandy ab roller, and I saw results. I saw success. But this posed a problem to where crunches and ab rollers will only really build your upper abs. And so you end up looking kind of like this. And this is a picture. I actually found this on a news site talking about this woman going in to have surgery to have fat removed from her stomach. And this broke my heart because you'll see here that she's got abs coming in at the top. It's probably from doing a lot of crunches. But she's got no muscle here. So what does she do? She gets an expensive surgery to have this fat removed. And you just simply don't have to do that. And I'll show you exactly how to build up your muscles and remove fat at the same time. You can see that she's got progress going on here, but she's probably focused too much on the wrong exercises. And I had this exact same problem. I had upper abs and nothing lower, and that was a problem. A few years ago, when I, what really kicked off my quest to get a perfect set of six-pack abs, there's this program called Ultimate Abs. And it's not around anymore. I don't know what happened to it. It disappeared. And to be honest with you, there was a lot of information that was wrong in there. For example, it told you to drink a gallon of water a day. I don't think that was such a good idea. Or to do three sets of each exercise. It was absolutely killer, and it can actually be detrimental to your success. However, it did give me some excellent exercises that changed the way that I go about things. My favorite exercise is this right here. This is a hanging leg raise, and this is a bit... Whoop, I'm jumping ahead here. This is a video I found. You'll see here that, I don't know if you, you'll see because it's a little pixelated, but this guy's abs are really, really working. And all he's doing is hanging himself, ooh, that sounded bad, hanging himself from a chin-up bar and bringing his legs straight up. You'll see, though, that as he gets tired, he bends his knees. So if you're unable to do an exercise like this, go ahead and bend your knees and build up the strength until you can do one where you're keeping your legs straight. This is what I think is the absolute best exercise for building a six pack. It's, it'll really, really work. It's a, it's a very difficult exercise, but it'll really get your abs looking great. I think there's four ingredients to building a great set of abs. The first is increasing muscle mass. Obviously, your muscles need to be big enough to show through the skin. But that goes without saying. That's why you do crunches, right? The second is reducing body fat. Everybody already has a six-pack. Everybody has, under, underneath their fat, they have six-pack abs. So all they need to do is reduce the body fat enough so that their muscle mass shows. And so it's a combination of these two. Your muscle mass increasing, your body fat decreasing. Also, it's about consistency. You need to be doing consistent exercises and consistent cardio and finally inconsistency and what I mean by this is simply that 
your abs, your body, gets used to you doing the same exercises over and over. So you need to change up your routine here and there in order to trick your body into building more muscle. You also need to focus on fat burning and some simple ways to do this, and I'm breaking this way down because I, I can do a whole video on this, and I do inside six-pack exercises. But some of the ways you could do, well, it's more than just running, first of all. You need to realize that. Cardio is important, but it's more than that. I recommend eating six meals a day. Now, actually, this will mean that you're eating more food than you are now, but you'll spread it out over six times. It'll keep your metabolism going. You'll actually burn more fat. You need to drink water. Not necessarily a gallon, as that one program told me to do, but I usually end up drinking about a half gallon of water a day. It's good for fat burning and keeping your metabolism high, especially in the morning. And finally, eat grapefruit. That's a great tip for you. Grapefruit is an excellent fat burner, and I recommend that you consume it on a regular basis. Inside of six-pack exercises, I have videos that are just like this one that cover a variety of different topics. I have videos just about fat burning and showing specific exercises that you can do in order to build up your muscle mass. I'll see you inside.